A U.S. guided missile destroyer performed freedom of navigation operation in the South China Sea on Wednesday, U.S. 7th Fleet announced. 7th Fleet said in a news release, destroyer USS Russell DDG-59 sailed near the Spratly Islands. The release reads, this freedom of navigation operation, FONOP, held the rights and lawful uses of the sea recognized in international law by challenging unlawful restrictions on innocent passage imposed by China, Vietnam, and Taiwan. Viewers may note that earlier this month, USS John S. McCain DDG-56 performed a phone-op near the Paracel Islands after the destroyer moved through the Taiwan Strait. The important part is that U.S. Navy conducted multiple phone-ops in the South China Sea last year and the new Biden administration is continuing with that same practice. USNI News recently reported that two carrier strike groups also participated in dual carrier exercises earlier this month in the South China Sea. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China didn't stop USS Russell as it moved into the South China Sea. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea through its so-called nine-dash line map. It says that it has indisputable sovereignty over the sea. It's important to note that several countries, which include Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan, have disputed Chinese assertions and have overlapping claims of their own. Countries like the US, Japan, India, and Australia have no claims but want freedom of navigation. Seventh Fleet said in the news release, China, Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia, Brunei, and the Philippines each claim sovereignty over some or all of the Spratly Islands. China, Vietnam, and Taiwan require either permission or advance notification before a foreign military vessel engages in innocent passage through the territorial sea. Under international law, as reflected in the Law of the Sea Convention, the ships of all states, including their warships, enjoy the right of innocent passage through the territorial sea. It added, the unilateral imposition of any authorization or advance notification requirement for innocent passage is not permitted by international law. By engaging in innocent passage without giving prior notification to or asking permission from any of the claimants, the United States challenged these unlawful restrictions imposed by China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. The United States demonstrated that innocent passage may not be subject to such restrictions. USS Russell is an Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer in the United States Navy. Arleigh Burke-class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. USS Russell, being an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 509 feet that's 155 meters and a displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS Russell is powered by four General Electric LM2500 30 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower 75 megawatts that drive two shafts. 
It has a speed of 30 plus knots, that's 55 plus kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, or 8,100 kilometers. USS Russell is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi weapons platform. It has in total 96 Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on mission. 1. RIM 66M 5 Standard SM 2 MR Block 3B for air defense and anti ship roll, with a range of 103 miles or 167 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 2. RIM 156A SM 2 ER Block 4 for anti aircraft and anti ship roll, with a range of 115 miles or 185 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 3. RIM 161 SM 3 for ballistic missile defense, with a range of 435 miles or 700 kilometers, at a speed of Mach 10. It can also be used as an anti satellite weapon. 4. RIM 162A ESSM for anti missile roll, with a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers, and a speed of Mach 4. It can be quad packed in single Mark 41 cells. 5. RIM 174A Standard ERAM or SM6 for anti air warfare, with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 6. BGM 109 Tomahawk for land attack. It has a long range of up to 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers with subsonic speed. 7. RUM 139A VL ASROC anti submarine missile with a range of 13 miles or 22 kilometers. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launchers for anti ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present. Launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH 60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long range naval gun and multiple close in weapon systems. Under UNCLOS, or United Nations Convention for the Law of the Sea, all merchant vessels and warships have the right of innocent passage through other nations' territorial seas. It's generally considered to be 12 nautical miles from shore, baseline rule. UNCLOS does not allow any nation to impose an advanced notification requirement even for a military vessel so long as the vessel does not engage in military activities, like weapons exercises. Sailing a surface combatant through an advanced notification zone is a method of challenging restrictions, and the U.S. Navy conducts similar operations frequently in sea lanes around the world. While China has been objecting to the U.S.'s phone op, it's not stopped USS Russell. This is mainly due to the fact that the destroyer is one of the most powerful surface combatants in the world, and its capabilities enable it to take on anything China can throw at it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.